I got a Facebook message today. Dad, I don't understand. What's the golden ratio? Any help would be Amazeballs, XXX, Maisie. The golden ratio has, for centuries, captivated artists and scientists alike with its geometric virtuosity and universal appeal. But what exactly is it? Specifically, the golden ratio is the ratio 1 to 1.618, with the Greek letter phi often used to represent the 1.618. Within art and architecture, this ratio is most easily understood and utilised in the form of a rectangle, the so-called golden rectangle. Here is a golden rectangle. It is a golden rectangle because for every one this way, it measures 1.618 this way. Straight away you can see that its dimensions are very similar to the enormous flat screen telly sitting pride of place in your lounge. While the golden ratio is actually closest to Super 16, which has a ratio of 1 to 1.66, HDTV comes in a close second with a ratio of 1 to 1.77. There is, however, more to this humble rectangle than just its outer dimensions. One of the things about the golden rectangle that sends mathematicians scrambling for their slide rules is that if you remove a square from it, the remaining rectangle is also a golden rectangle. If we repeat this cutting of the square in the new rectangle, we get another golden rectangle, and so on. Keep repeating, and we end up with this. While it starts to look a bit like a Mondrian painting before he coloured it in, the areas created by this cutting of the square can be used to place compositional elements within a frame. The squares also allow us to create what is referred to as the golden spiral. Produced by joining the corners of the squares, the golden spiral is a spiral with a growth factor that again is the golden ratio. Sometimes referred to as the miraculous spiral, this spiral form has evolved in nature, appearing in shells, sunflowers, spiral galaxies, tropical cyclones and certain types of broccoli, to name but a few. Used as a compositional aid, it builds on the aforementioned blocks and acts as a lead, allowing the spiral to draw the eye to its centre, with compositional elements often aligning along the spiral itself. The golden ratio has been part of the human psyche for such a long time that you may be subconsciously placing compositional elements that align with the rectangles or spiral to some degree already within your images. Understanding it in more detail might allow you to consciously finesse your compositions even more. Anyway, I hope this helps. Lots of love. Dad. <laughs>